My mother, yeah, she saved me from doing an M charge. Yeah. So me and my boy bumped into some of my enemies. Both sides are stunning, both sides are taking out their knives, bro. No one's doing that. We hear sirens from a distance. Every man runs away. We've run away now. My boy goes to me, my guy, we're gonna roll up to their block. By the time we're walking there, I get a phone call from my mum. One phone call, two phone calls, five phone calls now, ten. I'm missing it. I'm looking at the phone like, oh, here we go. Why is she ringing me? I've answered the phone now. Hello, mum. Salaam alaikum. What's up? She goes to me, Amen, your baby sister's bed has arrived. You need to come home and put it together. Uh, I said, mum, give me an hour. I'll come back. She goes, no, you need to come home right now. I said, cool. I said to my boy, don't do anything stupid, bro. Let me go home. Give me an hour, hour and a half. I'll come back and, and we'll go out there. But I got home now. I'm putting the bed together. My brother calls me six o'clock news. Breaking news. There's been a murder. The guy that he killed was in my class, bro. The guy that passed away crawled across the road into the chicken shop to get some help. Guess who's in the chicken shop getting the takeaway? His mum and baby sister. And he dies in their arms, bro.